Morning, Dom. What's that? Yeah, what's that? Oh, okay. okay so. Morning, Dom. Morning, Rick. Morning, you lot. You're Morning. watching the two fuels. Right, what are we in today, Dom? We are in a mini GP2. Just a GP2. Just mini a GP2. No, it's John just Keeper a, Works. No, none of that crap. Keep GP, GP2. Mini GP2. Right, yeah. let's, um, let's go for a drive. You know, third is all the time, I'm gonna do that backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yeah, dickhead. So, Mini uh, GP2. John Cooper works. John Cooper works GP2. So, we've recently driven a GP1. That's very nice. Uh, lent to us by our friend Imran, who has also lent us it's GP2. His GP2. I think he's going for the. Um, the, 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 trio the triology? Triology? Trinity? Trinity. The, the, Trinity. Holy, the holy Trinity. The holy Trinity. It's like, it's like, it's like the 918, the LaFerrari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and the, uh, the P1. Yeah, I That's agree. That's the one. What so, minutes? So the GP3 will be next. So, uh, yeah, Lens was by friend Imran. Uh, as mentioned in our last GP1 video, he's a bit of an Instagram whore, so... Yeah. M11XGP, so, as on the number plate of the car is his Instagram account. It's pretty cool, that's with her. So, um... So yeah, go and check him out. So yeah, Mini uh, Mini GP2 is the uh, the update from the GP1. Strange that, isn't it? It's number know, two, it, number it is, one. It's weird. <laughs> Who'd have thought they'd brought three out afterwards? Doing some little facts and figures that we never normally do on cars, but we will do because this is similar to the GP1, yeah? So yeah. 1.6. It's the same engine, isn't it? Not turbo on this, not, not supercharged, yeah. but turbo No on more this. whining. No more whining, other than... Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so, 1.6 turbocharged engine, horsepower, Dom? I think it's pretty similar to the last one, 220-ish, something like that. 215, 220, yeah, yeah, very similar to the GP1. Um, differences are, there's no um, no LSD, no mechanical LSD. I know, it's electronic, we've gone into the realms of, of, of electrical... Um, I'm not convinced it's ever going to be as good as a proper mechanical diff, but hey, we'll see what happens, and it's probably good weather to test it. I was going to say, it it's good, as much as we've got fog again, by the time this is cleared, it's good It's good conditions to test it. It's yeah, a little bit damp, a little bit chilly. Um, sorry, I'll test the grip, because this car's also got... Kumo tyres on it. Kumo tyres on it, Kumo. specific... To this vehicle. To this vehicle. Yeah, this... absolutely, made for this car. And then the, um, the finishing little piece of... Uh, specialist kit from from our point of view anyway is uh, coilovers proper coilovers as proper well. coilovers on this car fully adjustable coilovers which are, yeah. camber caster toe yeah 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 the whole shebang so we'll come on to ride quality later but i've driven this already this morning on the way here and this is a way comfortable car and handles superbly so you'll see when we get some photos of the the camber on this vehicle as well we we saw this in scotland with us a few weeks ago this was um this was definitely, I'll use the term, punching above its weight. It definitely it moved, was. It moved like a stab rat. <laughs> it was, yes. <laughs> Don't forget, stabratclothing.com will be available soon <laughs> via our channel. But yeah, the, the camber on this uh, really helped out the um, Oh yeah, because if you push it, thing. it was like, it was flat and it looked good. And yeah, to yeah, be fair, yeah. it was definitely, it was shifting along at a fair rate of knots. So we're going to kick off with, um, and you won't be able to see because the fog's out at the moment, but does this car look good? Oof, this car does look good. It's um, it's quite sexy if I'm being honest. I'm quite, quite, sexy. Taken, quite taken aback with it when you first sort of come up to it. It's almost like it's grown up, but not really grown up. It's still still got the body kit on it and still sort of like, it, it looks like a proper car. It does, and it's... Well, BMW have kept with the ethos, haven't they? They've, they've, that's the next gen of the... Um, of the Mini, but let's go with the GP2. Let's throw the kits on it. You know what the GP4 is going to be like, don't you? It's going, <laughs> have a, it's going to have a big, big grill on the front. <laughs> well, I'm calling that the Daniela Westbrook generation of BMWs, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. So, we have actually got an M135i lined up yep. at some point, so we'll do a bit more of an in depth as to see how Daniela Westbrook's affected the uh, BMW <laughs> design language. So, yeah, with the GP2, BMW have uh, put the body kit on again. Uh, you've got all the features out the front. The front end is quite menacing when you come up behind, it comes up behind you again. It's apparently got more downforce. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit like 
I never quite believe them when they say things like that because to get proper downforce on a car at pegs, I'm sure it's there, but for most mere mortals, I don't really think that people look at it and go, yeah, 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 it's made a big difference to our drive the car because I've got more downforce, it's a bit of a... I'd, well, I'd agree, but it does it does look cool. It does look cool, and everybody likes a race car. The side profile is classic Mini. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a skirt on there. It's got the bespoke wheels we've already mentioned. Nice wing. And then you get round to the back end, it's got carbon wing again on the top. Yeah, real one as well. Real carbon. It's got a bit of a diffuser down the bottom end. Yeah. Which is wrapping round the uh, now standard GT3 like twin exhausts. GT3 like yeah. twin exhausts. Which um, which makes a bit of a racket to be honest. It's a good noise. Let's frighten you, uh, this. Let's frighten this cyclist. You stick it in sport mode, and um, <laughs> you can't hear too much in the cabin. Well, no, I think you can. But it makes a bit of a pop. Bang, yeah, fart, yeah. noise, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's, it's it's DSG farts before DSGs came out. It's on demand. <laughs> it is Fart, on demand. Farting on demand. Forget your Netflix. Forget your Amazon Prime. Come and sit in your GP2 <laughs> on demand. Stick it in sport. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. It's quite cool. Enough of that, though. Let's so turn, we'll it turn it off. Let's turn it off. I can't hear anything. So we've got the uh, got the exterior of this car kind of pinned down. Oh, great! It only comes in only comes in grey as well. Oh, also, um, your hot topic from our last video, it's got stickers on it for an extra... 10, 15 brakes? Well, yeah, let's go with that. At 10, least. 15 brakes, so it's got stickers on it. And again, this is another car that's got its individual number. Everywhere. I don't know about everywhere. No, no, it's there. It's just, so it's just, the, so it is there. It's just been subtly... So it's sat on the it's dash. It's in red. Uh, it's on the roof again. Yep. Uh, we'll have to have a look on the bonnet. I've not looked at it to see if it's on there. I reckon it will be. You reckon it will be? <laughs> yeah. So it's, so it's been individually tagged once more. How many in the UK? I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm going to go with 2,000 again. Yeah, I think there were 2,000 made. I don't think there's 2,000 ah, in the UK. Okay, yeah. So 2,000 of these made. And I reckon there's been a few ditch finders as well. Probably another four or five hundred. We'll stick some facts and figures I'm below. Going, I'm going for about... Are we guessing? Right. <laughs> I'm, going for, I'm going for a wild guess. About 65 left in the UK. Okay. Did you know 7 out of 10 statistics are made up? <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who said that? Three out of four. Don't want to do some research when we've shot the video, and, he, and we'll be able to put in the link below. Yeah. How many were made? Yeah. How uh, many were in the UK? And how many's left? How many are in ditches? Yeah. 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 Do we need to set up ditchfinder.com as well? I like that one. So yeah, so that's the outside of the car, kind of covered. It's it's a cool looking, classic mini shaped, modern mini shaped car. It's got all the trinkets on there visually to make it trinkets it has it's got the trinkets on there to that's make it look it's trinkets 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 are like wow that's full on old person what <laughs> which one is that that's well it's got spoilers and 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 stuff on it that's proper race cars have but you, not you trinkets said you weren't sure how effective that that stuff was so well, they're not, trinkets it's not effective it's, it's like me describing my x3 as a fashion item and not a well, it actual is. natural well, vehicle well, to do well, anything off-road it's true in it should we throw it into a field and see what happens it won't get out <laughs> <laughs> this would probably stand more chance of getting out on its um, oh, semi semi road semi track day se semi tires. slick yeah, yeah. semi slick tyres. So okay, we won't call them trinkets. So if we look at it from the outside, it's got an aggressive body kit yeah, to give it a race a car demeanour on the road. Oh. Right then, so we moved on to the interior. Well, we're already in the interior, so we've not moved on to it. But no, we're, no, we're drive, driving on. driving outside would be quite difficult. Driving outside, yeah, it'll be right. coming. <laughs> Tesla will be working on it, I'm sure, at some point. <laughs> Hands off. Yeah, yeah. Right, here we go. Number of seats. Number of seats. Oh, we've got. A... <laughs> right, okay. What, what are we on? Number of seats. Uh, two. Two seats. Two. Keeping with the um, mini theme of GPs taking the their rear seats out because you can get shit loads of shopping in the boot. It's got a strut brace in the back. Is it real? Uh, well, partly for strength and partly to stop your luggage whizzing through into the cabin. Although, um, if you... What happens if it's higher or lower? Well, higher or lower? It's like higher water. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's a card game. It's a what? It's a card game. Card game? Yeah. Uh, well, it's, I, I, I kind of figured that little bar's not going to do much when your bag of oranges split in the back and come under the front. So I'm guessing you're probably picking 
Orange is up. Orange it, does look, it does look good though. It looks, it looks nice. I like it. See, so yeah, we've got two seats in here. We've got the we've got the strut race in the back. Uh, we have got plenty of luggage space. It's like the GP one we have. If you are you and your mate, you and your missus, your missus and you, you're going to get your luggage in there for the weekend. You'll get your shopping in there. That was proper LGBT. That was. What? Yeah. You went through the full. Oh the yeah, full yeah, thing yeah. And the full. Well, Right, you know, we're not, we're not we're not discriminatory to anybody other than gingers on this channel. So yeah, correct. Yeah, um, yeah. We've it's been, been a while. This. Before. It's been say we've been through this. Yeah. So yeah, it's from a from a practical point of view in the back, you're going to get your luggage in there. You've got the standard door pockets, which you're going to get little bits in. We've got in the GP2 sat nav glove box. <laughs> sat nav. <laughs> sat nav. Where's sat nav? We've got the same old sat nav. Sat nav's on the phone. Yeah, but we have got we have got a glove box. We've, we've got, got a, a glove box with a door, so you can actually hide things in it, put yeah. things in there to Correct. keep stuff out of the way. Like your sat, like your sat nav. Like your, like your sat nav. Yeah. Has it got fatter? Has this got fatter? Yeah. Uh, uh, I reckon it's got fatter. I reckon it's got, what as in heavier yeah. or wider? Oh, heavier. I'm not sure about wider. I reckon it's the same. Surely it's the same body shell. Oh, it's this, this, the, the, the GP one's the R53. This is the R56. Well, what happened to the R54 and R55? I didn't, I didn't bother with them. Well, it's a GP1 and a GP2, so why yeah. have we not gone R? R. R. Oh, dear, there's a bloopers. So, you reckon the size of the vehicle is probably pretty similar? I mean, it's still a. It's still a super mini hot hatch in it. That's what the, that category is in. Like we, when yeah. we had the um, we had an S1 on recently. Yeah, that was a bit smaller than this. It's a bit more um, aimed at the younger generation. I would have thought. So you're saying this is a bit more of a grown-up vehicle? Yeah, definitely. It's got a lot more. I don't know. You see this one. Like so this, this is not, so this is my criticism of the S1 was interior-wise. Yeah. How much is this car when it was new? Twenty-nine and a half thousand pounds. Oh, it's probably a little bit dearer than the S1 then. So I suppose you're expecting a little bit of uplifting materials, but you know it's nice leather. The, the the actual the general feel of all the sort of materials is a little bit better. I think it's a little bit more niche, a little bit more specialist, a little bit more individual. It is a grown-up interior. As much as this is a race car for the road, yeah. It's also it can be easily be a daily in the fact that it's. It's all well laid out, it's all super comfy, the materials are all great. It's comfortable, it's quiet. When you jump in, you can have a little bit of a, uh, a fattle with everything. You like the steering wheel, there's no buttons on the steering wheel Good. at all. Good, we like, we like. race car spec steering wheel. <laughs> As this should yeah. be. Race car spec steering wheel. But yeah, everything's, uh, everything's well well laid out. There's a little bit of gloss black in here. There is, I've already put a fingers on bit, it. A little bit on the dashboard, but... No, I'd, no, I'd noticed you'd cleaned it before you got here, and I have literally put a little bit of fingerprints on it already, just to remind you of your... It's not such a big deal, is it? There's a little bit of gloss black, otherwise everything else. We've got the usual mini toggle switches for switching everything on and off, which are, you know, I like the cool. Heated seats. Heated seats, yeah, so it's the one kind of... I don't know what the word is. It's the one bit that when BMW took it on, they went, oh, we're not going to put a sat nav in because it's extra weight for multimedia and blah, 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 but we are going to put heated seats in it. So They're not that much heavier though, are they? A bit of a concession is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, it's a good word, that concession. A like bit of a concession, it. and it's, uh, it's, it's showing us that, um, that you can have a little bit of comfort. Oh, turning circle. Is it better than the GP1? Uh, well, we managed to turn around in one go. So yeah, the turning circle is, um, is, is bigger than this. A little bit better than the um, yeah 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 because the GP1 was a bit pants. How do those semi-slick race tyres feel in the I mean, damp? Bearing in mind it's cold and the damp. damp. The it's damp six and a half degree weather that we've got at the moment. It's cold and damp. This car's proper accurate. Um, that suspension's like really working. The tyres are like really good. It does have a little bit of torque still. And it's not the loudest in the cabin. No, it's really quiet. As I say, it's it's, it's quite grown up and civilized. Even in sport mode, it's quite grown up and civilized. It is, it's quite grown it's, up and civilized. It's properly. It, it's got plenty of power at the 1.6. It's different because you don't hear that whine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do miss that whine. I like a good whine. Um, I like a, I like a nice Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. White, and I like a nice um, a nice Rioja. Okay. There's a red. Tell you what we'll do, we'll go to Copenhagen. Do you want to go here? <laughs> I 
Well, I'd prefer it to be a bit clearer and sunny, if I'm being honest. You can, I, go? can I drive it in August? Are you just a fair weather drive in August? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, can, can I drive it? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, I'm, I'm going to do all the videos through the winter. Just me, you can stay in bed. Thanks, Jim. Yeah? That, that works. And uh, I'll, do all the, I'll do the bits of the winter. Just give me a gonna... cardboard cut out so I can <laughs> say, say, yeah. When the sun's out, give me a ring. When the sun's out, you can come and just, yeah, yeah have, a, have a little go. Yeah, well, we've got a little bit of. We can, we can see 20 feet now and. 25? Yeah. You know what? It goes all right. I it's a different, it's a different, there's a definite difference between this and the GP1 as regards of how it, the initial, Power because delivery. of the, because of the supercharger slash turbocharger, but it's certainly, once it's on and running and you're in boost, it's like, yeah. I think it's, yeah, it's one of those cars that you've got to just keep it, you're right, on boost and the revs up a little bit, so that you've got the momentum going. And he's stopping. Oh, wagon doing a three-pointer. It's on the new sofa delivered in time for Christmas. <laughs> well, what's happening at Christmas? Yeah, first, what's happening at Christmas? Everyone's going to be sofa. Oh. <laughs> even, even more than they are now. What's happening at Christmas? <laughs> Cappuccino, no sugar, choco dust. Choco dust? Choco dust. Woo! Let's have a little coffee done, and then uh, yeah. we're going to go for a drive, yeah? Okay. We'll be drinking out of proper... Cups. We're drinking out of proper cups rather than these Costa cups. Yeah, I'll Photoshop um, two fuels. Two fuels that, right, <laughs> don't worry about that. Where are we, Dom? Mexico. <laughs> this Mexican coffee's quite we're nice, on, isn't it? We're on the border. On the border of Mexico? Yeah. Any song that might go with that? I thought there was. I don't know, anyway. We're not doing singing today, are we? Acapulco. Acapulco? <laughs> no! <laughs> Going loco down to Acapulco, is that yours? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Dom's in now. Here he comes. Oh, it's got adaptive headlights in it as well. Oh, that's in headlights. No, adaptive. I can't understand your accent again, sorry. Some gang oh, stuff. Oh, there we go. comps again, there he is. That's nice, that. I do like that. We're going to feature that in every video. <laughs> Dom going, nice that. Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm going to do a bit of hand rubbing down there, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? So, Dom's in the driving seat. Clutch is quite high. First reactions are, clutch is quite high. Clutch is quite high, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, first reactions is, it's, um, Put the wind up. I don't know which point it is to do that. You concentrate on the difficult part, Dom. Keeping it on the road here. Thanks. I'll okay. deal with the details, yeah. Technical, practical. Definitely a bit of turbo yeah. lag at the bottom end. A bit of turbo lag already? Yeah, a little bit of turbo okay. lag at the bottom end. I can feel it spooling up. So as you've got any, you've only just got in it, what's your, what are you, you know, seat-wise, you comfy? Seat-wise, you Obviously, because you're on video, you have to have a little wriggle in the seat to prove to people watching that. Yeah. yeah, it's quite comfy. Driving position's good. Um, binnacle moves. GTR, Alla, Alla, Alla GTR. Alla GTR. Alla GTR. Uh, oh, it's quite. Um, it's quite pointy where you want it to go, isn't it? Well, I first, think it's proper from the first sort of uh, corner that we've got to. So we'll start to pedal a little bit as we go into a, a more. As we get towards the border of Mexico. Yeah. So, so uh, seats are comfy. A yeah? nice bit of Alcantara. Yeah, that's it. Little bit leather, fancy nice stitching. Bit of, nice bit of red deviated stitching. Deviant stitching? No, no, not deviant. Deviated. Oh, deviated. Yeah, stitching, deviated sorry. stitching. It's got uh, seat bolts to match you. Yep, correct. A bit of bit red. Um, sporty seat bolts. I don't know if I'm into sporty seat bolts or not. I think they were done for the police to make people so that you can That's actually the see. Can tell it. So you see, you've got a seat belt on and off. Ah, okay. Easy three points. It's nice. Feels good. It's quite warm in here, to be fair. It is warm in here. Let's turn the yeah. let's turn that down a little bit. That's Practical, so technical. Yeah, I'll yeah, do with that. Yeah. yeah. Touch points, Dom. So we've done touch points to see to get a steering wheel. Steering wheel's nice. Steering wheel's nice. Steering wheel feels good. It's a good size. It's not BMW thick. So I think like, it is. I think it's no, good. I don't, no, I think it's yeah. all right. They've got a nice little, nice little thumb points for your, for your thumbs to sit in. Thumb what? Thumb points. I thought you said thumb pumps. I was like, <laughs> this is some new technical <laughs> term I've not heard of. What, thumb like, pumps. What, like trinkets? Yeah, trinkets, yeah. Dick. <laughs> So the thumb points, he's got some thumb points. Yeah, thumb yep. points for your, yeah, thumb, for your yeah. thumbs to sit in. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's nice. So, talk me through all the buttons that are on the steering wheel. Well, there's no buttons on the steering wheel because there shouldn't be any buttons on the steering wheel. And does that bring a little smile to your face? Well, yeah, because there shouldn't have buttons on steering wheels. It's a, it's, a, it's a track day car, essentially, for the road. So, no distraction. Don't know about a track day car. 
it's a bit nice to be ramping it around the track, if I'm being honest. I think it's a bit more of a, of a fast Sunday morning, let's go driving Jeeves type of car, nah, as opposed to track. ramping it around the track. Um, but yeah, no distractions on the steering wheel. No. All really good. Gearbox is, is, I would say the throw is a little bit shorter than the GP1. Um, it's a little bit less notchy going through the gears. Approaching the national speed limit. I'm going to say approaching the national speed limit. I'm yeah. just going to let you get your groove on now, Dom, because yeah, yeah. uh, it gets a little bit bumpy around here. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Cheers, Dom. You saw that coming, didn't you? Oh, did you? So you've done a few twisty corners now, Dom. What are you thinking to the steering? I'm thinking it's quite nice. I thought I'd just do that in case people don't know what the steering is yet. Like that. Yeah. It's direct. Yeah. It's. Um, Plenty of feel. It works. It goes around corners, it which works. is good. Yeah, yeah, which is always the good. The steering works. Yeah, steering. I thought that was an accolade. Is that only a big box of ticks, yeah? Big, big box of Big tick. box of ticks. Steering works. It goes, steering around, works. goes around corners. Brakes, check they work as well while we're running. Yeah, brakes, they work. They're okay as well. Uh, yeah, so yeah. they're the big six pots on there. They definitely work. They are. I must admit, it's. Um, I was looking at the brakes earlier on, they've, they've definitely gone up a level from the GP1, so they've, 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 they've not messed around and gone, let's have a bit of a, a bit more brake. I thought the brakes in the GP1 were pretty good, to be honest, but these they were, are... They were sharp, but these are, yeah. These are going to stop you. These have got um, massive discs in there as well. Massive? So, massive discs. How, how big are they? Massive, at least this big. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. then, right, okay, that big? Like, Jesus. imagine like a good plate of dinner that you could oh. get a good steak on. Okay. That big. Right, okay, yeah. that's, that's good. They stop you. They do start yeah. to be fair, so maybe that's a bit of a hack into its track ability that they've put bigger it's discs on. It's not a track car, is it? It's a, it's a track mark. car. It's not a track car, it's a nice car. Oh, look at this, we can't see anything again. Happy days. We need some of those hazard lights on the top. Uh, they're, so some they're called wow wow lights. Wow wow lights. <laughs> yeah. The ones that go on the light socket, you can just put them on the roof. Yeah, correct. Or, 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 or I know somebody that actually puts them in your dash, not your dash, in your... In your dash, in, in your, in your useful. Grill. <laughs> Why did he go off the road? Ah! The white white lights came on by accident. In, Sorry. Put them in your grill, in your grill. and then you can um, scare people. If you've enjoyed watching this episode, we would appreciate it if you would uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the and bell. ring the bell. It helps us out a lot. So yeah, we'd appreciate that. Thanks very much. So Dom, we're just about to go, does it go fast and the guys decide to pull out in front of us, but... Yeah, no. So, yeah, this is your chance to have a little bit of a reflection of the right foot. Oh, he's turning around, that's good then. He's off. We've got full fart mode on. Full fart mode. So this is Dom's, uh, Dom's first little blast at a decent pace in the car. Oh. To see whether it's uh, accurate. Stay there, stay there, stay it's there. It's fun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa! Everyone's a bit. Yeah. Wah 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 You know what? It's quite nice this to be fair. It's accurate. I think it's accurate. I think it's pretty grippy with those tyres on. Tyres are alright, but I don't really want to push them too hard because having never really driven on Kumos before, I don't quite know where they're. Uh, Oh, we're not going to push a car up the, to its limit, but the, you can the tell the by it. But it's generally sort of feels, it feels good. It's like, you know, it's, it makes some noise coming out the back. And we're off. This is good fun, this car up here. Yeah, this is good fun, to be fair. So it's fast. It's, it's got plenty of poke pulling you up here. Brakes are good. Steering's good. I'll do the commentary. Dom's concentrating. <laughs> Your eyes a little bit of torque steer, aren't it? It has got a bit of torque steer on it, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely a bit of torque steer. Just want you to like sort of go just when it's really, really wanting to pull. It's just yeah. that bit of a drift off, but it's, it's not, containable. It's, yeah, 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 it's not. Yeah, it's not mental, is it? I'll tell you what, if it's dry and warm, yeah. Loads of fun. Loads of fun. I agree. I, I say I think this is um this is another car when we were looking at the GP1 
of a 0 to 60 sign. This is not what this car's about. This is not. Like know, six, uh, six, six six seconds six something like that. ish is, is 0 to 60 on this, so it's, it's fast enough. But this car, again, is about driving the roads like we've just done there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, another one of get up at five o'clock Sunday morning or wait for a summer's evening. Yeah. Come out and just blast it around those. That to me is what half this eight, is about. Half nine o'clock when everybody's, when everybody's inside watching I'm a Celebrity. Or yeah, everyone's the, inside watching I'm a Celebrity some and the all the roads are de-restricted because we're in Scotland. Correct, <laughs> or Mexico. Yeah, yeah or Mexico. Yeah. So I guess, uh, I guess that brings us on to, um, probably by the fact we've both been smiling, again, is this a fun car and would you own it? Yeah. If a man wants to sell it for 10 grand, I'll buy it. <laughs> if you want to sell it for 10 grand, I'll buy it. I agree, this is a magic car, so I also would own one of these, I'd recommend one as well. They're great fun. Track day car, weekend car, road trip car, I think it ticks all the boxes. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you for watching and uh, join us on the next edition of the Two Fuels. What are we going to do? Get a coffee? Yeah, let's get a coffee. It's about time we got a coffee, Dom. Let's go and get a coffee. Right, let's get a coffee. I could do with a coffee because we're, we're up right. early this morning, doing a bit. Dogging car park. Dogging car park. For anybody who's been watching on a regular basis, we've stopped in a little car park there. Yeah. Not to go dogging. No. Obviously. No, but uh, well, we do stop there for a few little photos of bits. Seems yeah, like a few people do. Blue Fiesta. There's always a Blue Fiesta in there, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a bit weird. Anyway, we can't tell you where the location is. No. Because we don't want the people to have their dogging sessions ruined. We'll get dogging car park. If you look on Google Maps, that's what it's called. Hello. Sky News have just announced Manchester's in tier three. Oh, it was always going to happen. It was always going to happen, right? Cool. Do you, is Sky News though, do you believe them? No, I don't believe anything. Oh, she's not full of joy. Oh, please, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, do you want to come stay at ours tonight? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you can't come stay at ours because that's not allowed.